What's up guys, my name is Jordan the Giant Casada, and today I'm reviewing WWE Mattel Elite Series 80, Bailey. My name is Jordan the Giant Casada. All right, guys, Bailey is in Series 80 of WWE's Mattel Elite Collection. Her heel attire, when she debuted her heel attire, her new haircut, um, <laughs> she came out and cut up her Bailey buddies. Very fun that they included that. We're going to take a closer look at that here in a minute, but let's go ahead and look at the packaging. Very fun. From San Jose, California. She's five foot six inches. Her finisher is the Arm Trap Headlock Driver. SmackDown Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion, WWE Tag Team Champion, Women's Tag Team Champion. She's a hugger no more. Bailey destroyed her Bailey buddies, debuted a new look and new attitude, yet still remains your role model. Very fun. The rest in the set here. We got Bailey, Ivar, Eric, Kevin Owens, Ricochet, and Kyle O'Reilly. I have the rest of them. I'm going to do reviews of all six of them. Um, I am going to keep my promise this time. The last set I did not because my Roman Reigns from Elite 79, his head, okay, they're supposed to be, be swappable, came off the peg. And that annoyed me and I just never got back up here. to. I haven't even been up here in almost a month. Uh, I think it was more like two and a half weeks, but it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I got annoyed and didn't finish off my Elite 79 reviews, but I'll show off Bobby Fish and my Kyle O'Reilly, uh, and then Daniel Bryan is close enough to his last Elite that I'm not too worried about getting a review out of him. But if you want to see Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan reviews, let me know and I will get them up. Um, but let's go ahead and open up Bailey and her Bailey buddy. All right, here's Bailey. Wow, this figure is really fun. Um, <laughs> let, let's go ahead and look at the accessories first. First off, she comes with open hands for both the left and right hand. Um, so you can hold her. Um, I don't even know what to call that. Uh, <laughs> uh, and she comes with a closed fist hand as well for each her left and right hand. Very cool. In the packaging, she's wearing just her fist hands, but I changed her off to look like this, holding this up. It's like a, a scalpel. These are supposed to be silver, but I guess they probably didn't want it to look like a big knife. Because that's what they look like. It was very scary looking. They were slaughtering the inflatable people on the trademark. Um, but very fun that they would include this. And the Bailey buddy that is all deflated looks like Tom Brady got to it. I think it's a very fun accessory. I, I'm honestly not sure if I um, will display it. I'd probably just put it in a bin somewhere, um, but very fun. If you have like a Bailey section, I, I have way too many figures to include this on my shelf somewhere. And especially on a lower shelf where you would actually be able to see it laying there because it's such a flat item. Uh, but it's absolutely uh, a fun accessory to put with an action figure. Like I said, I, I like the w wacky, wavy, inflatable two men, but I think it would have been better if she came with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, obviously, these are made for kids, essentially, and I think that would have been really fun as a kid if I'm playing with my toys, but I don't. So I'm not complaining at all, but I'm just saying I would rather have the SmackDown Women's Championship. Let's go ahead and take a closer look to Bailey. Fantastic new head scan for Bailey with her brand new haircut. I guess it's it's been a year now, over a year, but very cool to finally see this in figure form. Her attire says Bailey on it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was more of a gold when she wore it, but I, I think this yellow looks really good in figure form, so I'm really not complaining there. Um, not going to complain at all. This this is a good Bailey figure. It's the best one they've made so far, and they've made some pretty decent Bailey figures. This is the only other Bailey figure I have. It's from the Network Spotlight series from Toys R Us. Uh, Toys R Us has now been closed for like, what, three years? Um, so that figure is at least three years old. It might even be closer to six years old. I'm trying to think of back when she was in NXT. So at least four, at least four years old this figure is. Um, it's a good figure, uh, but this is before women's figures had knee articulation. So this is the first Bailey with knee articulation. So that's exciting. Very good articulation, this figure. She moves very well. So if I were to play with her, 
it'd be a good figure to play with. <laughs> um, what do you guys think of this Bailey figure? Um, I'm really enjoying it. I cannot wait to have it center in my SmackDown shelf, um, which by the way, because of the draft, I have to completely redo my shelves. Um, and I'm going to have her with the SmackDown Women's Championship. And then I'm, I'm really waiting, I think, what, Elite 83 Sasha Banks? Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for that. And then we'll have them together. Well, I guess they're not even together anymore. They're not together. They're, they're feuding. I'm assuming Sasha's going to take the title off of her at Hell in a Cell. Um, so, yeah. Let me know if you guys want a Hell in a Cell prediction video. <laughs> um, anyways, like this video, comment below, subscribe for more figure reviews, toy hunts. We're going to do a big toy hunt this weekend. Super excited. Um, so yeah, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you later. My name is Jordan the Giant Kassat.